Okay, let's go. Man, that poor spider. Yeah, you didn't laugh at was the other fucking kid in the fucking home. Like, because he was just a dick. I won't tell you any of these people names, but yeah. There was a kid who basically had ADHD, supposedly, but a lot of people, I don't know if it's just a local thing, who was supposed to have it, probably don't, and they're just assholes. Now, I've met people who really have ADHD, and they can be annoying, but you can tell they're not doing it on purpose, so you can't really get mad at them kind of thing, you know, they'll talk a lot, they'll be hyperactive and shit, and it's like, well, it's a bit annoying, but I'm not going to say shit, because, you know, the guy can't help it, he's a decent guy, and, you know, whatever. He was just a dick. Well, like, you know, it's like, you can't hide behind the fact that you have a disability. You know, I fucking don't do that. That's disgusting. You can't do that shit. Have I ever used anything as an excuse? Disability, health, any of that. No, not without a good reason. Like, I've, the most I've done is I've been too ill to actually get anything done, so I've gone, well, I've been too ill. And then other times it's just, I can't be bothered. I'll admit when it's just me being fucking lazy or being an asshole. Because I can be an asshole, and I know I can be an asshole, I'm quite good at it. The fucking playthrough's probably proof of that, if, as if it was needed. Yeah, my advice to anybody playing this... You know, try and get the timing down, and don't bother attacking the little spiders. And I'm not saying that because I like spiders, I'm saying that because it's a waste of fucking time. Oh shit, I didn't realise I was all the way back there. I was looking around for chocolate frog, he moved faster than I remembered. I can barely see the targeting thing. The other thing is, if you kill the spiders, they'll spawn more, so... And don't walk onto his web. I mean, you can walk there, but... Yeah, watch. Another one will come out. Never noticed they were different sizes before. I said that, I don't really play this game that much. I'm just playing it for the sake of it. And as an experiment, I mean, last time I played it, I got a hell of a lot of views. Like, relative to what I usually get on this channel. Like... Makes me wonder, will the same shit happen again? Oh man, they thought they were creating something great with this game, didn't they? Thought it would be a classic someday. All the little children would remember fondly in later years, maybe when they were teenagers or adults or some shit. Hey, that Harry Potter game was alright then. It's pretty weird seeing this game not be generous with the uh, the health, i got to be honest. Because there's no inventory, it's not like you can pick a potion. I can't believe I'm actually talking about the game quite a lot here. Something I have failed to do for the entirety of this uh, playthrough. Is it just me or did it just fart? And why is it see-through? What is it, a ghost spider? And now Harry, you know, can't just let the spider be defeated gracefully, he has to chase after it. Holy shit. Oh, it actually worked. That's what it's supposed to do. The car screeched to a halt. And Harry died inside. It looks bad, doesn't it? It actually would have looked better if it... Why is it so red in there? That's the seats. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path that obviously knew. After oh. ten noisy... What is it how spider doing up there? That's a male. So you can tell it has got big pedipalps. They had reached the edge of the They're like, uh... Harry look on the front of a spider, it has like, they look like two really short legs basically, I guess, on like house spiders anyway. 
I'd like to know that Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. They're sort of he like innocent. spies equivalent of arms, I guess. But yeah, they, they, they also house like his reproductive organs. Kind of weird anatomy. It works, I guess. Of course, there's a fair chance he'll get eaten if he finds a girl. Harry, but Ron, he I'm does sorry, his job, doesn't he? This will be a bit of a shock. There has been another attack. Oh no! Who? I am very sorry. Now this music, in a very rough, unfinished state, is found in the data for the first I game on the PC as common room. It's called in the file name. I feel like I've only just started. I'm actually feeling kind of miserable that we're getting to the end. I'm actually enjoying myself, and I haven't enjoyed recording for this channel much the last few things I've done. Got to be honest, but I've enjoyed this one so far. And I don't know how much more I got to do with this channel, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do shit like this anyway. I mean, I'm not going to have time in the near future for. A a long long time really and then I really don't want to be putting excessive stress on this workstation you know I do have a new one in the works but I don't have the money to build things like that really you know I've got to do some pretty rough shit to afford it and it's not as bad as things have been in the past but it's still not living comfortably so it's going to take a long time Ginny went missing and Harry found a pee. <laughs> At least I'm not gonna have to sell fucking blur jobs and shit, I Harry, suppose. Ron, I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. Oh no. Who? I am very sorry, but your friend Miss Granger was found right near the near library. The library. I have asked all students to remain <laughs> in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. With Malfoy. <laughs> nah, he's gay. Oh no! What are we going to do? He's very unfazed by this. He really doesn't Ginny care missing. about his sister, does he? He obviously just uses her as a quick fucking girl and that's that it. <laughs> she's still there? Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girls' bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. That's a great way to start a sentence, Why? isn't it? Go to the girls' bathroom, Ron. You fucking perverts. Involved in the dark arts. Okay, I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Why do they highlight text in blue, like you know, Don't a fucking worry, retarded? Ron. We'll rescue her, and then I'll close the chamber. Of now he's starting to worry only a little bit. Harry's trying to be like badass again. Yeah, I will close it for good. But his voice actor isn't good enough to make it sound convincing. Where's that piano music? You know, he slacked off on that, is it? It's not actually the tune, but it might as well be. I mean, that's pretty much all he did, right? Now I have to go and find Dr. fucking Cockhart's fucking office. Oh no, this is where fucking Dr. Cockend fucking Professor Lock fucking... What's his face? Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, who wants to bet money that it's going to fuck up during the final boss fight? And I'm going to end up having off camera with no sound. Another fucking save, really? Is that fucking necessary? I do wonder if we disabled auto save and shit and did manual save states, would it get around this problem? I don't know, but I mean somebody might want to try that. Professor Cockhart's office, Professor Cockend. Fucking bell end, seriously. <laughs> Some people in this world are just fucking bell ends. Yeah, no. 
Hey, does anyone here watch uh, that fucking... God damn, he's a fucking loser. Or a very good actor. I'd, I'd go with very good actor, actually. Uh, what's his face? Uh, McJuggernugget. Does anyone watch him? Well, he's a fucking loser and half, isn't he? But, I mean, like I say, I reckon he's probably acting. In which case, a smart move, I guess. Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. Yeah, and you take damage here as well, and no joke. And you, they don't have space to fuck around. But yeah, th this is serious now, right? I'm not fucking around and just insulting people and that. Which I could do quite easily. I'm very good at that. Somebody said to me, like, something, because he's got, like, a fucking girlfriend and shit, and so like, why do women always go around with losers like that? And I'm like, you know what? You could sit there and get mad or try and figure it out, but don't really bother, because I've got a different approach to that. I'm like, actually, that's a really good thing. Because, so I want to find me a woman. Well, that woman obviously has, like, really horrible standards. <laughs> like, you know... And that's not just me being a dick or anything, that's legit. She obviously has really horrible standards there. Uh, so really, you know, whatever she's after in a guy is probably not something good. It's probably like money or or something like that. <laughs> that's, that can't be a good thing. So for every woman that's with a loser like that, also that's actually a good thing. Because it means if I go out looking for a fucking woman, that's another woman with very misplaced fucking ideals and shit that I'm not likely to run into because she's busy going around with someone like that. So that's a good thing. So I don't know, that, that was just uh, something I wanted to put out there. Probably going to get yelled at by somebody. I don't know, I don't think there's any like... 10 year old fanboy types around here which is good I would probably stop uploading things at all if my audience was like that I gotta be honest I do pride myself on having a decent audience uh, even if it isn't as large as some channels at least don't have complete assholes and complete losers filling up my fucking comments section you know that's fine I like that He's just like come at me. I, I like that knight. He's got fucking like balls and stuff. And speaking of balls, what do you think this looks like from above? Look at that. Right, we've got the balls here. That's a ball. That's a ball. And then we've got this going up here, the shaft. Yeah. Mmm. And there's a doorway on the end that <laughs> could just be like another fucking. There's no overhead map button in this, but I'm telling you, that's a. That's a fucking cock if there ever was one. Yeah, this lever's a dick move. And now we're grabbing leaps. Oh, fucking hell. Really? Penis. Jesus Christ. They went a bit overboard there, didn't they? We get the joke, guys. You think about penises a lot. Penis. You know, maybe they didn't realise. Maybe a woman made that section. I mean, that's not outside the realm of possibility. And nothing says women can't be level designers. And fair enough. What's that fucking noise? Yeah, I mean, I mean, nothing says a woman can't be a level designer. That's good. I mean, I mean, so it's the cat. What the fuck, man? I remember this. Is this the game being dysfunctional, or is it meant? Is it something I'm not getting? And yeah, this this is apparently not the way to go. So I, I don't know what to do. Have I gone completely the wrong way somewhere? Because whoever designed this is a fucking cunt, and I'm not joking right now. Yeah, and I used the word cunt, and I know that's offensive as all hell, and I'm proud of of that word because you have to be from Northern England to say it. Hold on, so there is a door. Fucking game, make your mind up. Yeah, it, it, it's one of them words, it only really sounds right if you're from, you know, northern England. That's the only way you can really say cunt. You daft cunt. <laughs> what this shit, man? So how's it come from that way, right? 
What in the hell? How do they... <laughs> I don't know. Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. Ah, oh, shit, so it's a maze. <laughs> I'm... Oh! You know what? Hey, I know this ain't ideal. You know what? We're going to try and trick the sequence. Because when I did this, it always seemed to start in the same place, didn't it? Look, you see what I mean? There's no time in this to fuck about. Listen, man, don't fuck about. 